It's a morning update from my bathroom, um, which sounds disgusting, but it's because I just washed my hair with something new that I decided to try and I figured I would uh, review it um, because I see a lot of that going on in people who update about their hair. So I figured I would uh, give something a shot. Um, I have seen on TV a number of times, usually late at night, usually on rerun programs. Um, we watch a lot of old Carol Burnett in my house. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of ads for something called the WEN uh, hair care system, which is something that I bought. It is called a cleansing conditioner. Um, and the ad says that it's supposed to replace your shampoo and conditioner, that it's supposed to be more gentle on your hair, that you are supposed to be able to um, use this without having to use anything else. Um, it's the claim on the commercial is that you will notice the difference after one wash. Um, which is what I've done. I bought this. I, this came yesterday. This is a 16 ounce bottle um, and I have washed once. I will come back and uh, talk about it after I've used it a couple times, but I just wanted to say what it felt like after the first wash. Um, I washed my hair about, I don't know, about 15 minutes ago, dried it, as I usually do. haven't put anything else into it. Um, one of the things that I have, I know that I uh, haven't talked about my hair texture very much, but I have very dry hair. Um, it's very fine and it's getting a little bit more dry, coarse uh, as I'm going gray. So I figured something that is supposed to be good for dry hair to give you shine, to give you moisture. I think that's great. The type I tried was tea tree oil. Um, so I usually like that scent. Um, so I purchased this and uh, I watched a couple of reviews. They all said, make sure that you uh, use the product in the way that they tell you. So I read the instructions on the back of the bottle, and I also watched a video on how to uh, use it. And one of the things that first struck me was <clears throat> the instructions say for you to rinse your hair out with water to begin with for about a minute to two minutes, which is a very long time uh, to be just rinsing your hair out. Uh, I'm thinking that's probably the cleansing part of this cleansing conditioner, um, also based on some other stuff that I, I found out after reading the label. So if you're using water on your hair for a minute to two minutes, you're basically doing a lot of the work that shampoo or any type of washing is going to do. I mean, again, uh, in another video that I, I posted, um, your hair is not alive, your hair is dead, your hair is basically like the fibers in a fabric. Um, so if you wash, let's say you wash your shirt, you wash a blanket, you wash uh, something fuzzy, you can wash it in soap, which is a detergent, which pulls out um, a lot of the dirt and particulates. Um, uh, what soap does do also is break up oil, which water doesn't do all that well. Oil and water don't mix. So, um, But if you're talking about particulates in your hair, if you're talking about dirt, um, and you don't want to strip a lot of oil that's naturally in your hair out of your hair, then you're going to just use water. Um, and then something that's really mild. After that, you're supposed to uh, determine how much product to use on your hair uh, based on the length. Um, from what I can tell from their website, from their videos, I probably am considered someone with medium length hair. They consider long hair like way, you know, way down. So I said medium length. Um, look that up and they said 16 to 20 pumps, that's a pump on the top, 16 to 20 pumps of that. And I just wanted to show you um, on the low end, 16 pumps. Can you see that? That is a tremendous amount. That's a lot of product. I am, and I am not stingy with stuff when I put it on my hair. My hair is really thick. Um, and when I put on conditioner, I put in a giant handful of it and just push it all over my hair. I, I, I mean, Honestly, that's, that's, and this is the low end for my amount of hair. So that's, you know, 16 ounces, that's not going to last very long at all. So um, that worried me a bit. Um, and then you're supposed to leave it on your hair um, for the length of your shower or as long as you go. I left it on a little bit longer than uh, I would a conditioner. So I left it on while I shaved and while I did the rest of my shower and everything. Um, they do advise possibly taking your hair and putting it up. Um, in the shower when you are using this, which is against everything I've ever read about uh, washing your hair. Um, your hair is very, very delicate when it's wet. 
Um, and if they're advising you to put product in it in wet hair that you've wet down quite a bit and then put it up, especially in a clip, I, I didn't do that. I won't. Um, I think that that's easy. You can easily cause breakage that way. Anyway, uh, the result, it's fine. It takes a long, long time to rinse that much product out of your hair, I will tell you. Um, but I did. Uh, I don't have anything else in it right now. Probably am going to have to put something in it because it's kind of fly away. Um, they did recommend when you're uh, in the shower that you may want to pull a comb through your hair, which is something that I usually do. I usually use a, uh, a wide tooth comb. Um, and with regular conditioner, this is no problem. This pulls through my hair just fine. With this stuff, I could not get a comb through my hair. Um, it, and as I, after I dried it, I, I don't usually brush my hair until it's fairly dry. Again, wet hair is, is delicate. It's brittle hair, so I wait. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, I found it a little bit more tangly um, and a little bit more uh, difficult to work with, although it is soft and it does feel light. So there is that. Um, in terms of the ingredients, uh, the first three ingredients are water, um, aloe vera gel, and glycerin. So uh, again, I have been researching hair quite a bit. Um, first of all, for a product for 16 ounces, it cost me almost 40 bucks. Um, and if you are charging $40 for a 16 ounce product in which you are asking them to use this much uh, each time they wash, and, and the instructions say that you might want to use this twice with half the amount the second time, um, your, water, your, your product probably has a little bit more water in it. Uh, than it should uh, because if it, you know you can concentrate stuff um, by using less water um, the second thing being aloe vera uh, that makes sense to me because when I talked about pH balance in your hair um, your hair should be a little bit more acidic uh, a lot of people use um, apple cider uh, apple cider jelly <laughs> apple cider vinegar um, on their hair to get that acid uh, level up which brings more shine so I don't know, uh, looking in the mirror right now. Um, I can't tell if I have more shine. My hair is usually fairly shiny. And then glycerin is just something that sits on top of your hair. It is a, um, it's basically uh, an oil. You know, it's basically is a, a, a lubricant. So, you know, it makes your hair easier to work with. It also can weight it down a little bit. So overall, it's fine. It looks okay. Um, I'm not overly impressed for the amount of money it, that I uh, spent on it, and I probably wouldn't review it after one use if the commercial hadn't said you will notice a difference after one shampoo. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I used it exactly the way they told me to and uh, that I was giving it uh, a decent shot. So uh, basically I would probably say, um, unless I see a huge difference in the next week, because I will use this, I did spend the money on it, um, I probably will just go back to my regular shampoo and conditioner um, it's very expensive, uh, that I, or according to what I usually use for uh, shampoo and conditioner. Um, it doesn't seem to do anything that anything else would. And the ingredients, all the ingredients that I found listed, basically I've seen in uh, just about every other product. Um, there's a lot of uh, types of uh, oils and extracts and stuff, but you, you know, you can find that in anything else. And nothing, according to the science that I've read about your hair. Other than the aloe vera, um, which would be uh, good for your hair, um, would make it worthwhile. And if you want to use aloe vera gel or aloe vera juice, which I've read more commonly, it's incredibly expensive. You can buy it at any discount store or drugstore by the gallon and use that in your hair um, in a watered down uh, amount. So that's my review for this morning. Um, I hope that. That was helpful to some people who might be considering using it. I would not recommend it. I would not not recommend it. Um, if you find it works for your hair, that's great. For me, I think it was probably uh, a bit of a waste of time and money. Thanks.